Today we are making custom brake rotors out of this sheet of copper or brass, I don't know. And this road sign. Already like perfect thickness, so this is solid. So literally we'll just cut a circle, throw it on there. Now this, sure. this is pretty thin, so we're gonna have to put like two or three layers. Yeah, maybe but I'm really interested to see what this is. This is the brake rotor that's on there now. It's brand new. I just put on brand new pads and I went and broke them in. So we got fresh pads, fresh rotor. We're going to take off this rotor, mark it up on the here, start cutting. This is going to be a wild one today, boys. So we got, we got a road sign and copper. And also we're going to do cardboard. I also have this cardboard. It's like thin layers of cardboard and I glued them together. So might as well try this. Yeah. Cardboard, copper, road sign, custom brake rotor. Let's go. This is an old custom brake rotor we tried. It completely melted right through the pads. So when we were making this, I was thinking, I was like, you know what? Why don't we try making it with some type of thin metal or something? This is just a good reference to put on here and cut. Using this and I'm just cutting it. I'm getting this middle opened up. I'm gonna take this wheel off in a minute to check the hub size. He's starting to cut that. Yeah, I literally used this new rotor for like five minutes. Look at the heat marks on there. Yeah, it's mint, bro. All right, so I got this. It kind of fits on here now. Now I'm going to drill a hole to make sure these threads fit through. And then I'm going to make a hole slightly bigger, just a little bit, just so this sits in there nicely. Brake rotor number one, completed. I'm going to cut this and I realize how this is what's going to take forever, is doing this one. Oh, yeah. It is brake rotor time. Which one are we selecting first? What are we selecting? I think cardboard. I think we'll start with this first. Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't even know. This is thick. Eh, no, we could probably fit that in there. I'm gonna try and put washers on all of them. And if, if the washer makes the bolt stick out and it hits, then we'll try without washers. But I'm gonna try with washers. I think it'll be, help it last longer. Bro, it's gonna break instantly. It's I don't know. It's literally... <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna rip. I don't know, it's pretty tough, bro. Pretty tough. Glued together by Elmer's glue, bro. I don't know. All the holes lined up. It's working pretty good. Will it fit? Oh, it's in there. Oh, I think we gotta shave it. After some trimming with this, it moves. Kind of slows down in a few spots, but uh, I think it's fine. She's just off clearance, bro. What did we miss? Got the custom brake rotor number one, bro. You already know. Yeah, number one. One of three. But one of one. Literally, this is literally world's first cardboard brake rotor, bro. What do you know about this? Bro? Right, I'm gonna pump the brake a little bit. Just get the pad out. Oh, yeah. Pads out. Work a little bit. Oh, look. Look at the marks. This is gonna be sick. <laughs> Let me try. I'm gonna get some speed. I'm gonna push it and I'm gonna hop on and I'm gonna hit the brake. Ooh. Does it grip at all? No, right? It doesn't feel that good, but it works. I'll start it. <laughs> I'm gonna just turn around right there. I'll come here like five or ten miles an hour. I'm not gonna go crazy. We'll start off smooth just to see if it works. But first kick. Oh. Bro, literally custom brake router round. Right? What do you guys know about this, bro? Oh, oh, no! <laughs> I was barely squeezing. I knew it, bro. I knew it. It popped out. Oh. I was squeezing it, and then it just went all the way. I'm like, uh-oh. Bro. Dang. Dang. Well, that didn't last long. Look at it, though. It worked for a second. All right. Well, guess we're not that surprised, right? Yeah. To the copper brake right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, now it's stuck. Oh, man. Dang, I honestly was expecting it to do a little better than that. Oh, dang it. All right, rotor number two. Went on smoothly. What we'll fit in here? I have a feeling we're going to have to trim this one, too. Oh, I think that just slid in. Oh. Look, it's literally rubbing. I'm going to have to trim it. Look, yeah, that's what it was. It was hitting okay. the shit. All right, so we got a few spots we got to trim. All right, it took a while using that thing a lot, but <laughs> hit the brake. Oh, yes. 
Bro, you guys are not even ready for this, bro. Homemade rotor number two. Yeah. Number what two. What y'all know about that? What y'all know? Wait, oh, yeah, wait. look. Look at the brake lever. Right. Yeah, it's stiffening up, right? I think it's because, see where it's split here? It's like pushing the pad back. Yeah. I think it's going to work, though. Maybe with the heat, it'll straighten it out. All right, I'm going to come up, and we'll do a semi-hard brake. Floor it, bro. Just floor it, bro. It's making noise. That was floored? Yeah, I think I gotta Look. pump the brake. Look, it's flattening yeah. it out a little bit. That's floored. It's changing colors. Look. Oh my god, I didn't tighten the axle. Wow. Kid forgot to tighten the bolt. How did I forget to do that? Bro's too excited. Like, yeah. It's working good, but I think you have to squeeze it like two times for the pad to squeeze all the way. Oh, I can't wait to go like top speed, grab it, and then it breaks, and I lock up, and I crash, and I get crazy. Yo, crash. this kid. So like, see if I just squeeze it all the way, it works, but like not good. You have to like pump it, and then it squeezes hard. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it locked it up. I think it just needs to squeeze it. Keep squeezing it. Man. Yeah, I th honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's just too thin. Yeah. I think it's too thin. Now it's really good. Try again, try again. Go, go, go. Hurry right, up, hurry right. up. Go, 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 go. go. Bro, what if it rips apart and locks up the front wheel? <laughs> Don't even think of that, bro. Roll the clip. Yo. Ow. Damn, that stops pretty good. Yeah. Dude, I want to keep. <laughs> I want to keep hitting the brakes and like get, it'll, look, it'll look pretty cool. Man. I gotta, get, I gotta put pants and a jacket on, bro. It's kind of cold. Bro, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. He's gonna try. He's not good at riding, bro. That's the problem. Bike. You gotta pump him. Yeah, I was pumping it. Door side. Yeah, it works all right. Let's go hit the road so we can go fast. Look, I just pumped the hella. Damn. Yeah, you gotta pump it a bit. Damn, it worked. Wait, let me just Hit it, hit it. Dude, it looks cool from this side. I kinda like it. Copper brake rotor? Right? Yeah. What you know about that? What you know about that? Copper or brass? One of the, probably copper. Wait, this kid burns my clutch. Dude, it's looking pretty cool. What is this? This thing has a crazy gear ratio, so the top speed's really good. I'll go like 40 or 50. I'll just go full break. break. Oh, yeah. See what happens. If I crash, I don't know. You better record it if I crash. All right. Just don't crash. Gotta be mad. He thought I was in trouble. He thought I was stuck. Oh. Oh. Bro, it smells like it's burning. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bro. The guy in the Harley stopped. Bro, I just lost brakes. Damn, bro. bro. Guess I hit the brakes too hard. Look at you must that. have grabbed one of the edges and just ripped it in. Damn. Dang it. Things toast. Alrighty, well, that worked great until then. Yeah, hey, literally. Crazy, bro. It's because we didn't cut them perfectly. They weren't all perfectly like the same shape. So one of them got caught and ripped off. Dang. And the brakes don't work at all now. Where did it go? Damn. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Looks like a penny. Looks pretty legit, bro. But that was a manufacturing issue, honestly. Yeah. That was a manufacturing issue. I'll fold it up right here, bro. It's all folded. It looks weird. Look, it got really thin. No, not really. It got a little thin up here. Our fault for not cutting it perfectly. Yeah. Rotor number three. Which side do we put? This side out or this side? Put this, put it out like this. Oh my God, that fits pretty good. It fits in there, no problem. Yo, I think this one's gonna be way better. It needs a little bit of kernel. Let's go. This is on. Cut. Fits. 
Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to do like little, not all the way through, just like little marks all the way around it. It's literally custom DIY slotted rotors. <laughs> Look at that, bro. Oh, Ooh. my God. Oh, wait, we got to take off all the dust. Here's the other side before we lose <laughs> it. This is what the other side looks like. Black and white cookie. Right, I think I should test this one, bro. No, definitely not. Number three. Yeah, number three. Right. Last one. That's what I'm saying. It's not pumping, bro. The rotor needs to be a little bit thicker. Just a little bit. We should cut another one of that metal and stack it up double. I have nothing. It works. Bro, it literally has nothing. It, it needs to be thicker, bro. Or we need thicker pads. All right, let's go with the straightaway and just like nail it a bunch. Yeah. You know, very, 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 very fast. And you have to pump it. Like, if I just do one, it does nothing. You have to, like, pump it and then grab it. Yeah, your brakes are shot, bro. Oh, man. So much going on, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dude, is it bad? No, like go like that, pump it up. You should move the pad up against it, then you can see. Look at it. That looks fine to me, bro. It was just bent. I was just, I'll try to stop right here. Oh my god, this sounds terrible. That looks pretty good. It's looking good now. Oh, you see the metal coming out? Yeah, and it smells, bro. Oh my god! Yeah, it's shaping it. Oh no! Oh, that's hot. Yeah, why would you touch that, bear? All right, let's try some more. That it works good. Oh my god! Oh my- I thought I was down. Bro, I thought I was down. Dude, what was that Dude, thing? Dude, I was down. Bro, the pad. Oh. Bro. Dude. Bro. How did I not just crash? I don't know. Dude. Because it, it left, it, like, it was going, I was about to fall, and it left, and it started spinning again. Bro, that was insane. Bro, if the wheels, if it stayed in there a second longer, I was on the, I was down. I was oh down. my God, bro. Bro, it locked up the wheel for like a second and then it released it. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank god it released it. I was, yes, I was, I was ready. I was out. Crash for the video. Yo, literally, bro. <laughs> the, your pad is over there, bro. Your the pad is literally on the floor. Bro, I thought I was down. It literally. I thought you were going down too, bro. Yeah. Dude, you would have been dead, bro. Looks to see the. This popped out. Brand new pad, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new pads, right? Yo, literally, yeah. Brand new pads. R.I.P. R.I.P. And, uh, look how dirty it is. Look how dirty the brake pad does. Damn. This thing is pretty noisy. I took this pad out, and the pad is slanted. And we can't even put this back together. Why? Bro, you have no pad. I think we'll be all right. You're going to put those in? Look at that. literally slanted. Yeah, that, that's kind of cooked, chat. Bro, that's literally cooked, bro. You cannot use that. I'm just looking at this, See, and I'm like, I'm like, did this wear out, bro? This literally broke. <laughs> Yo, look at that. It's, it must have broke off. Like there was a piece here. It's gone. <clears throat> Damn. See, How did we not find no that? Friend, okay? How did we not find that? Damn. Guess I need a new caliper. Diablo. You can definitely make your own rotor, but it's a little difficult. You got to be pretty accurate. We just had a little bit thicker. 
If we had like almost double the thickness of this as one piece, it would be solid. That would, that would work great. Oh yeah. This is too thin and the pad wore out too thin, so it like pushed out too far of the grooves that holds the pad in and just went flying. <laughs> or it probably got stuck in there for a second, that's why I locked up the wheel. I almost crashed. Yeah. I was ready. And like it happened so quick, I'm like, oh going down, and then somehow magically didn't. I wasn't going that fast though, so I would have been fine. I would have been alright. Everything worked, except for the cardboard. I think that was copper. Copper worked. We didn't do a good job making it. Yeah. This worked. It just needed to be a little bit thicker. Homemade brake rotor completed. Thank you for watching. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice.